Hi, I'm Kelly, and I promised that I would definitely update you all on the next appointment that I had, and that was my one-month follow-up for my corneal transplant, and I had that yesterday. So, like the last video, I jotted down some notes, and I will update you on how that went and what has changed. Oh. I forgot to write something down. One minute. <laughs> okay, now I have everything jotted down. So this is for my one month follow up. I just made a summary of my one week follow up. So here it is. So when I first got into the appointment, it started with testing. And I think this was the first time, yeah, that makes sense. The first time that I've had like the actual testing with um. I guess taking pictures of the back of my eye and all of that um, since before my transplant, which makes sense because the two other appointments were one week after and um, right after, so they weren't going to be putting too much strain on my eye at that point. So they did all of that. Um, so my biggest thing about like the testing though with like all the machinery and everything they use is I'm a very science oriented person. I really like to learn about what's going on and be aware of what they're doing. I'm just, it's interesting to me. I wish they would kind of explain it more. I know that they don't necessarily have the time to do that. They can't really hold people up, but at least like give me some reference so I can look it up myself. Um, I haven't really asked for that before, but I'm also the type of person who doesn't like to interrupt people in what they're doing. So yeah, I would kind of like to know what some of these machines are doing and like how they figure it out. Just give me the name of the machine and I'll look it up myself, but it's kind of interesting to me. So the next thing that we did was to go and do the eye charts. Um, so in my last video, I explained that I had been able to see three of the letters um, on the eye chart, which was a vast improvement from before because I hadn't really been able to see any. Um, but I didn't really explain. I can't. I couldn't see three letters with just my plain eye. I could see three letters with the pinholes. So this time I was able to see the three letters, and then I think the whole chart not the whole chart, but the whole first page after. I don't know how far that goes down. Um, I Certainly it's not 2020, but again, I kind of wish they would say, oh, you were able to read this line. Um, but yeah, so I was able to read the first page of um, the eye chart with the pinholes, which was great, really cool and interesting, and wow, a huge improvement from where I was before. Um, so I did the eye chart. I was able to read like the first page and then they did the, you know, they put the goggles over your eyes and they try to get a prescription or like refraction and they couldn't, I couldn't really do anything. And I have explained this in my other videos and my experience videos. I think that is one of my least favorite parts of going to the eye doctor and, um, just cause I, they all look the same to me for the most part. What was happening to me in this instance is that the like letters were overlapping each other and just the focus was off. So like I could see like the upside down E, which was the first one, and then a little bit of the regular E, which was the second letter. And then um, you know, we kept doing the as I said, the bout of one and two. Oh, this one or this one, this one or this one, and it didn't really help much, but again, I'm still healing. Um, my dad was there with me because I needed a ride, and he's like, you overthink it. You just need to say they look the same or whatever. And he's probably right, but I do overthink it, and it gets stressful for me, so that's one of my least favorite parts. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't really see anything when they use the um, prescription finding goggles. I wish I knew the exact name, but that's what it is, you know, the goggles that go over your eyes. Um, so then later the optometrist came in and there were a couple changes and then a couple things stayed the same and I only had one question that needed to be answered. 
Um, well, I had other questions, but they kind of answered them for me. So, um, they did change my med dosage. So, I had been on the drops. It's Pred Forte drops for four times a day for the past month. Which, as I, as, eh, as I had explained, sorry for my lapse in ability to speak, but as I had explained, um, it was kind of hard for me to stay up and wake up early in the morning. So now I am on it for two times a day for a week and then once a day the next week. So this week I'm on it twice a day and then next week I'll be on it once a day and then after that I can stop. And then they will check me and see if I'm all okay to stop the drops. Um, so for my schedule I'm doing 10 in the morning and 10 at night. And then they said I still need to wear an eye patch, and honestly I hadn't been wearing one. I haven't been rubbing my eyes, so I shall start and get back onto the eye patch. And I also still cannot lift over 20 pounds. So, yeah. That, a lot of things that you lift during the day aren't necessarily over 20 pounds, so it's not that big of a deal. But just it's kind of annoying for me because I would like to get back into sculpture and a lot of the things that I need to do are to lift 20 pounds. Um, speaking of sculpture, I asked if once that weight limit, limit was lifted, I was able to go back to sculpture and what I would need to do about like getting dust in my eye and if I would need to wear per protective glasses or anything. And she told me that I would just need to wash out my eye with saline if I got dust in it, which I generally do. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then she, I kind of listened to what they say to their assistant. Um, I, again, I kind of wish they would, like, the people that work there are really good about, you know, taking care of me, but sometimes I would like a little bit more information. Like they said that the stitches still look good, they're all still intact, and the surface looks really good, the graft looks good. They said something about like a fold, which sounds weird and not good, but it didn't, like the way they reacted to it didn't seem like it was abnormal or anything that I really need to be concerned about. I just kind of wish they would have explained what that meant and, you know, that's all. Um, okay. So... Last couple things are just, you know, my corneal transplant and my personal life. I um, just did a makeup tutorial. It's not perfect, but it's, you know, my first makeup tutorial after my corneal transplant. If you want to watch that, it will be, I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to make a playlist of my business and my makeup tutorials and then probably another playlist of just fun YouTube things that I can do because I like making videos. Um, and then, so I'll probably put that in that makeup playlist if you want to watch that. Um, and the only thing with applying makeup is I'm more careful. I don't put as much pressure down on my eye when applying my makeup and I probably shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. But um, yeah, so I'm just a little bit lighter. I don't really like to put too much pressure down on my eye now. And then lastly is just like getting back into art. Um, I've had quite a bit of break from art because after my thesis I kind of needed a break. I was completing coursework and um, yeah, so after my thesis I needed a break. And then after that I had my transplant so I hadn't been really able to do a bunch of sculpture. And I still can't at the moment because I can't lift the heavy objects to make a mold or whatever I have to do. But I started drawing again, and the first attempt was not good. <laughs> and I think it's just because I am out of practice. I don't think it's necessarily anything that has to do with my vision. Again, my glasses are not the correct prescription, so my eye is still blurry, but not because my eye itself is um, still blurry. Um, so yeah, I think that will just improve with practice. I don't think it really has to do with my transplant. Um... So as far as making another video, again, the next appointment will be in a month, and that is to check the pressure on my eye and just make sure I'm doing okay with the drops 
was stopping to drop so I don't know how much I'll be able to update I just don't want to bore you with um, like my day-to-day -day life if, if there's a small thing that irritates my eye or anything but I might continue to update on like getting back into sculpture and as I said starting driving and all that so yeah the next video for sure will probably be in a month though so yeah I'll see you then bye